In our current limiter part 1 we have seen with a high collector emitter voltage the current slightly increase. After the intro we will investigate what is the root cause for this increase of current. Today we want to investigate the root cause of the current change in our current limiter. The power calculated by collector emitter voltage multiplied with the current through the transistor will be converted into heat. This heat will warm up the transistor. When the transistor gets warmer, several parameters of the transistor will change. Which parameter is responsible for our current increase we will look now in detail. As we know from part 1, the current through the resistor is the current of the current limiter. To get a fixed current through the resistor, we need a fixed voltage at the resistor. With a constant base ground voltage and a constant voltage at the resistor R, the voltage from base to emitter must be also constant to get the constant current. Unfortunately, this is not the case. This base emitter voltage will change with temperature and I will show it with some measurements. Here our measurement setup. We combine a transistor with a heating resistor and fix a thermocouple on the transistor to measure the temperature. Then we supply the base emitter diode with a constant current of about 2 mA. We get this constant current with a relative high voltage of 20.7 volt through a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And we monitor the base emitter voltage with a voltmeter. Finally we have a second power supply for the heating resistor. And with this switch we can turn on and off the heating. Step 1. Fixing a heating resistor on the transistor. Here I have glued a transistor to a resistor to warm up the transistor with the power in the resistor. Step 2. Adding the thermocouple on top of the transistor. Here I have fixed a thermocouple above the transistor with some foil. Step 3. Thermal isolation. Finally, I add more foil to isolate it against the ambient temperature even more. In our first measurement, we do not power the heating resistor and measure the base emitter voltage at the cold transistor. Here, our measurement setup. The red and black line are the power supply for the heating resistor. The yellow and blue line are the 20.7 volt voltage supply. We go via the 10 kilo ohm to the base of the transistor and from the emitter back to the voltage supply. The blue and red line measure the voltage base emitter. Here we have the thermocouple. Here is a thermocouple in degree Celsius and here we have the voltage at the base emitter. We measure now at 20 degree Celsius or 68 degree Fahrenheit a base emitter voltage of 0.737 volt. In our second measurement we turn on the heating resistor this will warm up the transistor and we will see that the base emitter voltage will decrease. I turn on now the heating resistor. Due to the long thermal warm-up process, I show it with time lapse. The warm-up process has now stabilized at 53 degrees Celsius and the base emitter voltage is 696 millivolt. We summarize. 
our first temperature was 20 degrees Celsius and the related base emitter voltage was 0.737 volts. Our second temperature was 53 degrees Celsius and our related base emitter voltage was 0.696 volt. We calculate now a delta temperature of 33 degrees Celsius and a delta base emitter voltage of minus 41 millivolts. This is not the correct value. Due to the simple setup, if we have a bad thermal isolation and a lot of heat will go from the silicon through the leads to the breadboard. The true value for silicon diodes is about minus 2 millivolt per degree Celsius. Finally, we want to check whether the change of the base emitter voltage caused by the temperature change is fully explaining the current change of our current limiter circuit. And we want to check whether the warming up of the transistor is not exceeding the maximum allowed junction temperature. We have here the current limiter circuit from part 1. We have a transistor a 100 ohm current sense resistor, a 2k 1k voltage divider on the base of the transistor, a control voltage of 5 volt and we can change the collector voltage from 1.4 to 37 volt. During the experiment we will measure the current into the collector the base emitter voltage and the voltage at the current sense resistor R3. Here our current limiter from part 1. The 5 volt comes via the yellow line to the 2k resistor, via the 1k resistor to the ground line and the black line goes back to the negative side of the 5 volt supply. The middle point of the voltage divider is connected to the base, the emitter via the 100 ohm resistor to the ground line. The variable voltage supply for the collector is connected via the ammeter and go via the red line to the collector. The blue line go back to the negative side of the variable voltage supply for the collector. This red and blue line measures the base emitter voltage and it is shown here. This black and red line measures the voltage on the 100 ohm current sense resistor and it is shown here. We begin our measurement with the transistor stabilized at 20 degrees Celsius room temperature and a collector voltage of 1.4 volt. We measure now with 1.4 volt collector voltage, 9.43 milliamp into the collector, 690 millivolt at the base emitter, and 942 millivolt at the current sense resistor. In our second measurement, I will increase quickly the collector voltage from 1.4 volt to 37 volt and then wait until it has stabilized and then I will go back to the originally 1.4 volt. Now I increase the collector voltage quickly from 1.4 volt to 37 volt and wait until the collector current has stabilized. Now the collector current has stabilized at 10.7 milliamp and we measure base emitter voltage of 571 millivolt and at the current sense resistor 1.066 volt. I set now the collector voltage back to 1.4 volt.
the transistor has now cooled down close to room temperature and also the values of the currents and voltages are now close to the original values. We summarize our measurement data. The ambient temperature was 20 degrees Celsius. At the beginning the collector ground voltage was 1.4 volt. The base emitter voltage was 690 millivolt. The voltage at the current sense resistor was 942 millivolt. And the sum of both the base ground voltage was 1.632 volt. And the current into the collector was 9.43 milliamp. After we have increased the collector ground voltage to 37 volt and wait until the collector current has stabilized, we had a base emitter voltage of 571 millivolt, a voltage at the current sense resistor of 1.066 volt, and the sum of both base ground voltage 1.637 volt and a collector current of 10.71 milliamp. Now we analyze our data. The base ground voltage is pretty stable as we can see here. The collector current is matching the voltage at the current sense resistor. We have 9.4 milliamp and 0.94 volt. We have 10.7 milliamp and roughly 1.07 volt. So we can conclude the increased current is caused by the increased voltage of the current sense resistor and this is caused by the decreased voltage of the base emitter. In another video I will show how to modify the circuit to get at a fixed ambient temperature a very stable output current. Finally I will do a rough calculation how hot the transistor internal junction temperature become during our measurement. The ambient temperature was 20 degrees Celsius. The base emitter voltage at the beginning was 690 millivolt and the base emitter voltage at the hottest point was 571 millivolt. So we have a delta base emitter voltage of minus 119 millivolt and we can calculate the delta temperature by delta base emitter voltage divided by minus 2 millivolt per degree Celsius. So we get delta temperature is minus 119 millivolt divided by minus 2 millivolt per degree Celsius is 59.5 degrees Celsius. The junction temperature is the ambient temperature plus the temperature increase, delta T. The junction temperature is 20 degrees Celsius plus 95.5 degrees Celsius is 79.5 degrees Celsius. One remark. This formula has a small error. The reason is because T ambient is not the T junction starting temperature. Because I explained the circuit while it was powered with 1.4 volt at the collector which is roughly a collector emitter voltage of 0.5 volt so we have a small power already in the transistor and this leads that it was already a little bit warmed up so my rough calculation is about 1 degree so our really starting temperature would be 21 degree so we will end up that we below 81 degrees Celsius and this is pretty far away the maximum allowed T junction temperature of 150 degrees Celsius. That's all for today. If you like my video give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel and to be informed about new videos activate the bell. Bye bye.